I'm blown away by what just went down with the Jusu Switch Emulator and how Nintendo straight up wrecked it, the whole thing. But here is um, what I think it happened. Mm. So from my perspective, uh, as, a software, as a software engineer, um, software developer, it's not that hard to think like a greedy corporation. And this is my theory. I think Nintendo set up a trap for Jisoo. And maybe another Switch emulator too. And they prepare a bait who was basically Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. That was the bait. We all knew Zelda Tears of the Kingdom was supposed to drop on May 12, 2023. That was the release. Uh, but it got leaked early than the release date. Coincidence? I don't think so. I don't buy it. I think Nintendo planned it all. Using Zelda Tears of the Kingdom as a bait. For a giant corpora corporation like Nintendo, lo losing a few sales isn't a, is not a big deal if it means whipping out the competition. Right? I mean, specifically if they're targeting the user developers. They reach sell the tears of the kingdom, so it will not work in, um, on the latest version of Yusu on that moment. Which was pro probably a piece of cake uh, for Nintendo. Like, easy to set up and prepare the bait. So they leak sell the tears of the kingdom. This is my theory. They leak sell the tears of the kingdom. Because they are the only one capable to do that. Like, just imagine this. They leak it. And soon after, the Jusu team had had it working in the early in the early access version. How I know this? Well, if you search in Google between April and May 11, 2023, well you you will figure it out. People was already able to play uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom in user early access. Okay? And get this. Nintendo knew they, they were making money. They were making money off of, of the early access, uh, early access version with the pattern. So that was another reason for them to prepare uh, the demand. The soup case um, um, the user team fell for it and Nintendo was ready for take them down the only way they could um, the only way the user team was able to make it run in the early access was because probably they was using an illegal copy of Solid Tears of the Kingdom as a developer you I can imagine that. I can I can see m myself as a developer. Like you need um, you need a or a physical copy or a copy or a legal copy or an illegal copy or s of something you are testing. Okay, you you cannot magically make something work from nowhere. You need to debug it. You need to test it. You need to check. What is wrong and fix it. So I'm thinking they probably bait it. They probably take the bait from Nintendo. So that's my theory. And and it's been driving me nuts. So I had to make this video. And that's it. I mean I'm pissed I'm pissed what uh at what Nintendo did to the project. But they were also pretty Arrogant. I'm talking about the user team. Probably, I don't. Know. I mean, not arrogant in a bad way, but they try into old smart game release. So we lost a, good, a cool project because human errors. Because they they probably was so amped. Uh, I can I can see myself like being amped to be like, oh my god, like we made this work even previous the release. So, yeah, but I think it was a bait. And I think Nintendo is capable to do that. 
just losing a couple of sales for take this down and I'm thinking that what happened that was what happened because they agree to pay so I don't know what do you think